Hey everybody, John Evie Goodyear. Good afternoon, greetings from Richfield, Wisconsin. Okay, we are down to 819 miles to Denver, Pennsylvania. Not much going on. I just thought I'd share this beautiful afternoon. I've always been fascinated when the sun is behind us. It makes the video look really nice, right? Now this video is not for everyone. This is going to be one of those really, really, really long video that has no topic, no content, just it is what it is. Uh, well, we'll try to we'll try to mix it up maybe a little bit. I don't know. Okay, we are on uh, Highway 45 and Interstate 41, merging together here. We're not too far from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As I said earlier today, it doesn't cost me a dime to upload as many videos as I can. And it gives me something to do. So shoot away, John. Good, shoot away. Look at all these Snyder eggs. Wow, that's a lot of Snyder eggs. Cyclist uh, Alex Chacon that rode his motorcycle all the way down to the farthest end of the earth. another motorcycle and rode all the way to north of uh, Alaska from one end to the other and I think he did uh, Europe as well and that's a uh, that's quite a dedication. I think he rode with somebody from either Arizona or Texas. And when they got down to South America, his buddy got, uh, got sick. It turns out his uh, appendicitis burst and so they operated on him that got worse because somehow they got complicated they finally went further south where it was 
one's a little bit more modern hospital. They got them all fixed up. So he sold his motorcycle, flew back to either Texas or Arizona. The sad part was he committed suicide a couple months after. Search on YouTube for Alex Chacon. I'm sure many of you out there have already seen his uh, motor blogs. I often thought of, would I consider doing that? And I thought about it, but you know, one thing that I have learned in 20 years of traveling, even to the greatest places here in the United States, I've seen some beautiful things in my travels. But if you're alone, you got nobody to share with. It's a very, very lonely place. Beauty comes, beauty only comes alive when you're, you know, when you have somebody to share it with. Whether it's a family member, a friend. One of the things that I've really, somewhat of, since I've been doing these videos, uh, what is it now, go on three years? One of the things that I, I kind of uh, realized or, oh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It used to be so dull and boring driving. I mean, it was, it, most of the time it was just kind of work. I mean, there was nothing to it. It was just, you know, doing my thing, delivering the load. But ever since I've been doing this video and I'm able to share it with you guys, actually this job has become a little bit more exciting. It, it's a little bit more alive. That's why when Well says no more videos, Man, that, it was like a, they took a piece out of that, uh, piece out of that joy, you know? I guess to look at it, look at it now, I guess that was one of the big reasons. I never real, realized how big of an impact uh, sharing these videos with you guys, interacting, and just to be able to talk to you guys. I, you know, I know you, I can't hear you guys, but with the comments and the emails and the people I have met. On, be friend along the way. It's incredible.
felt like and it feels like I, I actually have a purpose. It's, you know, it's, it's not so, it's not a job so much anymore. It's, I don't know how to explain it. There's nothing worse than going to the Grand Canyon by yourself. Or, you know, the many, many places in the United States. driving that bus with all the teenagers in there I don't know how those guys can do it I don't know how they can survive there Pennsylvania. Welcome back to Wauwatosa. 
I'm sure by now you guys memorized that water tower, right? Well, look at the time. Once again, we have Well, let's just say thank you for watching. <laughs> have a good and godly day, everybody. Peace.